everybody, Joe Zero here. This week, thought I'd do something a little different. Got this M2 Camaro. Pretty cool. I kind of got into Camaros lately. They're nice, great looking cars. Has some nice wheel options. Some white five spokes, gold five spokes. Got the black on it. These M2 model kits are a little different, so let's spill water everywhere. Oh no, yeah, I gotta pick that up. Hang on a second. If I'd known then what was ahead, I probably would have stopped here. <laughs> Hindsight, you know. Oh, uh, but anyway, this blister package is next to impossible to open. It's kind of like you buy a pair of scissors and you, you got to use a pair of scissors to get them out of the package because you needed the scissors in the first place. But there it is. All right. Good looking car. Pretty cool. 69 Custom Camaro. So on to the next step. We're going to take the little screwdriver that comes with the kit and free the car from the base. Free at last, free at last. Look at those awesome wheels. Yeah, and it's a roller. All right. Unfortunately, the M2s are screwed together, so use this the red screwdriver one more time here and just pop it open. Don't lose a tiny screw. And the one on the back. Go ahead and crack it open, see what's inside this thing. Ooh, big meaty tires in the back. Got the little skinny tires in the front. There's the base. Yep, not much going on there. Get the interior out. We got some uh, underside, steering wheel, passenger seat, rear seat. Nice detail, actually. Put that over here. Don't lose the screws. Very cool. Nice tail light detail. It's funky red glass. I don't know about all that. So, see what we can do with it. It's pinned in there. I'll have to make adjustments for that. So, what we're going to do to try to get the windshield out my little pin vise here and just kind of work at that rivet and try to get it out. Now one thing I noticed going through this cast is some little pins on the hood like it's holding an engine in. But it wasn't an opening hood. Tried a bunch of different ways but couldn't get it to open so go figure. Now these tail lights and plastic bumper have little pegs on the inside where they push through. So what we want to do here get my exacto knife and cut them off shave them down so I can just push them off and save the plastic details yeah and here things take a turn for the worse because although I cut the pins off and they should pop out they were actually glued in as well so a little twist and prizing and well everything breaks off so yeah shatters to tiny little pieces Oh dear. So now we're gonna go to the stripper. Now pay close attention kids, this is where things really go south. You'll notice that I did not remove the windshield. That's right, into the stripper. Oh dear. It was late, I was rushing, working on three cars at once and just kinda, oopsie, one got away from me. So needless to say, the stripper ate all the plastic bits, the windshield, the bumper, so had to improvise. So here it is all stripped down. Use some green stuff to kind of fill in and remake the details that were destroyed in the stripper. <laughs> Just some kind of grill, use a little paintbrush handle to make some headlight indents. Fall back and regroup, no windshield. Thought about doing a Gaslands car with it, but done a bunch of those lately. So I ended up at this. I think it came out all right. Not my best work. Took a poll during a whatnot show this morning and everybody said, do rub with chrome wheels. So I actually just took my Molotow and 
touched up the chrome wheels that came on the original car. I still have the other sets of cool wheels that came with it for other projects because it's not my best work. If you notice, there's some little uh, rhinestone headlights just kind of give it some zazz. The rear end looks just horrible. Uh, so there you go. You know, you live, you learn, you make mistakes. Mistakes are the way you learn. It's a roller, as you see. It's kind of jiggling about on the turntable even as I speak. So that's it for this week, kids. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace, love, and good happiness stuff. God bless.